night. A lot of fun. Really, really. Yes. Sorry, well, my headphones were back. There we are. Back. We're on. We're on now. It's fine. All right. A lot of fun, epic music on on there. Uh, Geek Geek and Time Lord, y'all actually missed oh, it because I played a couple. Muted. Oh, there we go. Yeah, y'all actually missed some really good epic music that I was playing um, earlier on uh, because of. Um, I played like a couple of songs by Blind Guardian in the middle of everything. But um, yeah, before we start, start just a little bit of housekeeping on there. We did have a fourth player. They have elected to, uh, to drop from the caffeine for the time being because of work-related reasons. We will not fault them that. Nope. So I want to start off by saying that one of our characters, Phoenix, uh, got, got a uh, notice from... His got well got a notice from his mom say, saying that there was an emergency involving his uh, involving his sister. Uh, God, I can not remember my own characters' names. Uh, yeah, Ariadna. Ariadna. <laughs> yeah, Ar Ariad. Yeah, and sister Ariadna's got kind of a family emergency on there, and he goes like, "But mom, I'm trying to see." But mom, I'm trying to save a planet right now. And Phoenix's mom was like, "No, you come back here this instant." So, your sister's giving me grandchildren. Why aren't you doing the same? Yes, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Just think, just think of Helen, very much like, um, like a Minnesotan Chi Chi, really. You get out. You get over here, don't you? <laughs> you I almost did. I almost did Southern there instead. You sound like a, you sounded almost like a Canadian Southern person. Just like, don't you know? You know, even even Canada's out there. Don't even you know? even Canada's got a South now. Even got a Canada's got a South, you hosa. <laughs> God. All right. Assholes are just very nice people who just insult you sometimes. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, we are we are moved over into. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to update my uh, info here using the using the uh, Streamlabs chat box because I can do that on there and uh, got that on there. So uh, Phoenix is stepping aside from the time being. We will keep Phoenix around in case uh, he, the player is able to come back later. For right now, though. Well, for right now, though, we are starting to get in, and of course, we have to start this in traditional fashion. Yeah. Last time on Starfinder Universe 13, our intrepid characters were sent out to find more of the Dragon Balls on the planet Tohinga. They came across some more Cyberman Z that appeared to have been controlled in some way, and ended up battling them. Uh, they also met up with the. They also met up with the android artificer named Amethyst, who gave some critical upgrades to their their ports there, and also let them know that there were other androids like her out there in the universe. So now, with everything packed up and ready to go, there are just three Dragon Balls left to find? Three, is that right? Yeah, we only have three out of four, so yeah. There's four Dragon Balls left to find, as they have the one star, the four star, and the two star ball. But while they are going to find the Dragon Balls, the Twin Fangs lurk out there somewhere in the distance. Will they come in contact with the Twin Fangs again? Will they come into conflict with any of the natives? We'll find out this time on Starfinder Dragon Ball Universe 13. And now I have to wait for the song to end. And I have to wait for, load, for Roll20 to load up. Well, while you're doing that. <laughs> no. Well, while you're no, doing they... while you're doing that. Show no mercy. Attack of the Twin Fangs. Da -da, 
da. I love that. I love doing that. Uh, we must become Team Three Star. Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, there. No, damn it! There's still five. There's five of us. Yeah, there. I mean, yeah, there's still a lot of. There's going to be a lot of Team Four Star references on there. And by the way, before we get started, before we get started. I also want to do a quick little plug because um, I would be remiss if I did not mention for the people who have not seen this before that while this is built in Starfinder largely largely by me, some of it is actually retrofitted from the Loading Crafts Keymaster and uh, Space Warrior races on there. I have dropped a link to their PDF in the uh, chat room there. Pick it up. Five ninety nine plus applicable tax, and uh, that's the path. Yep, that's the path. Don't, oh, don't. That's the Pathfinder version on there, and then uh, I, of course, have made some alterations in order to make it work with Starfinder. Just thought I'd drop that in there really quick. So, all right, here in here in the uh, the main city here. Uh, they have come back to the main city to talk to Countar on here and let him know that they've managed to get three three of the Dragon Balls on there. And Countar, and Countar coming in contact with them says, I hate, to, I hate to interrupt your quest here, but we seem to have come a bit upon a bit of an issue, yes. As it turns out, we've lost contact with one of our villages. They are all probably dead. Me. Well, right now, tell me where. Go on there now. No, I. I mean, it's not. It's not a matter of, you know, it's not a matter of you know losing contact with them as in getting a distress signal. We haven't heard anything from them. It. It's like. It's like they've completely gone into radio silence. Much. The, in fact, the last communication that we had with them was me warning them that the Twin Fangs might be coming their way. Oh. Yeah. And to make matters even more interesting, this village holds the Seven Star Ball. So it is basically the most critical one, because even if anybody gets the other, other ones on there, this is the one that we've got our best defenders around. Ah. Huh. So if they're not talking to us right now, th this makes me even more concerned. And he, he lets you know in which direction um, this particular village is. As it just so happens, you are still getting a Dragon Ball signal from there, uh, Carrick. So they are not all dead yet. Right. Well, at at the very least, you know that there's still a Dragon Ball over there. Right. All right. Everybody's flying off to there. Everybody has some some level of flight capability so Trend. right so yeah you fly some kind some distance out and you do eventually come on to another village which looks amazingly like this one because as you expect Tawinga pretty much with few exceptions looks all the same except for the spots where it looks all the same but on fire And you've landed now into, uh, why did I do that? <laughs> you've now landed into <coughs> the village on there, and it's just like total silence. <laughs> Guys, how racist is it if I say this place all looks the same to me? <laughs> Um, can Goober essentially 
Um, read for energy. Yeah, both both of you, both of you, both Hikelian and Carrick. Yes. You mean Hikelian Goober? Uh, yeah, Hikelian Goober, right? Well, I mean, I suppose Carrick could too, since since Plus scouter. Yeah, they've got yeah they've got the scouter capabilities. Just in case I fuck something up. All right. Perception check. Uh, Akili and Carrick. I mean, Goober is essentially. He knows the twin fangs. All right. Uh, Carrick, if, if you want to check out with your mech suit sensors, you can. I heard voices, so I think he walked away. Uh, what, what was that? Uh, if you if you want to roll a percep perception check to try and see if you can find anything, go oh you've already done that. Okay. Um, check and perception check. All right. Yeah. Uh, hey, Keely, you do kind you do sense some power levels, but you're not able to quite determine exactly where they are. Uh, Carrick and Goober, on the other on the other hand, you can tell with a high degree of certainty that these power levels are hanging around back in this one particular building over here. Okay. Close uh, to this one for. Yes. Ah. Come on. Oh. Helps if you're on the right tool, dumbass. What? Down in this direction. Yes, yeah, so, kind of off in that direction there. Not enough, but I'm going to trust your judgment and just follow the cold and or something is about to stab me in the ass. So let's check it out. <laughs> I believe those were called tumors. Um, y'all are going the wrong direction. <laughs> I believe it was I was in this direction. You're right. It's not in this direction. Let's go in the other direction. What? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, if I were if I were if I were a bit of a smartass on there, <laughs> would have had you there eventually. All right. Uh, I actually step back a little bit, and bit goober on there because, as, as you um approach that particular uh, area there. As you all approach that area, uh, I'm going to move you out of the way there, Carrick, because you're kind of stepping on something right now. Um, you see three people come out from the building. Who left these children behind? Uh, they are not children, actually. Um, these two right in front of you, Goober, are actually, um, they're actually warriors. They're actually little Maxian warriors, and they are alongside a mystic. And they, and as soon as they see one of them, uh, put, puts up a hand, it goes like, Halt right there! All right, before he entirely get blasty, I am actually with him, and I point to Hikeli. You know, you know that's not re you know that's not exactly reassuring. I mean, we have heard heard that there are people on this pla planet who are trying to kill our people and take our Dragon Balls. Cooper is just like true, but they are space warriors. I might be a space warrior. But I'm at least working with him. And her. And her. Um, don't they act look like space? Uh, aren't they? Space warriors? Aren't they space warriors? Uh, they are. But they are not going to blast you because we're all from the Orange Star Academy. And, and this one, this one in the back, back here. It's a little more of a portly kind, 
kind. Uh, definitely appears to be more more from the dragon clan as opposed to the warrior clan. And it's like, look, we possess, we are guarding the most. We are guarding the most important Dragon Ball on this planet. We have no idea whether or not they've gotten gotten the counter yet. We have no idea how many Dragon Balls that we've, you've got. How many Dragon Balls do you have? Three. So you are collecting the Dragon Balls. To keep it away Go from on. the enemy. It is our job to keep the Dragon Balls safe at all costs. Even if it me, even if it means, to be quite certain, from what all we know, we still are not certain whether or not we can trust you. Don't you usually like hand out a trial or something? We're not entirely assholes. We're gonna steal this from you with force. Formatia, or the the one in the back there. Uh, you didn't, never had to introduce, introduce themselves. Kind of looks over to the one to their right, looks over to the one to their, to their left, and they are looking guarded and ready to go at any moment. And this one in the back here just goes, you want a trial to prove your worth, huh? All right then. I give you a trial by combat. Oh, my favorite! But I must I warn play. you. But I must warn you. Aspersa and Hell's hit over here. They are among amongst the greatest warriors on this planet. You will not find them. You will not find them a pushover. Hope not. At least want to. Get, at least want me and Hey Kelly to at least have a challenge. All right. Yeah. All right. So. Stretch it. Okay. Uh, I thought for a second you're like. I thought you were straining it. Like, oh no. No, stretch it. Yep. Uh. All right, kid. All right, kids. Let's roll some initiatives. It's a good thing I can't monetize my YouTube channel. Because I would most definitely not be able to monetize this now. <laughs> well, technically, it would be a three on three, so I guess Karak is essentially playing fair. Oh, wait, what? Uh, what? Last. I think I accidentally jumped <laughs> oh. over the character. I was like, oh, hey, Helsit's not so Helsit at all, is he? And uh, I was just like, oh. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I just, I didn't see them in the in the order, so I didn't know whether they... <sighs> I'm, I'm going with the original role on that, so. But I do still have two others that I got to roll for, so give me a moment. Oh. Oh, Rabe and Roma. Okay. Yeah. And you. What? GM rule. Oh no, I didn't see the names. Never mind. I was say, did Jarabs did he insert himself in here? Where is he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that that was for Robin and Roma on there. So I've got everybody in line in line there. 
And looks like we are starting off with... Kedek. Throw a bike. <laughs> uh, so I'm just right here. I will... Five foot step. And... All right, you have a laser weapon. Oh, these poor bastards. <coughs> Foot line. Bastards. All right. So, uh, going going after uh, Spursa and Helsid then. Uh, on stone setting, of course. Right. Twenty natural twenty. <laughs> Damn it. This feel of Ooh. Uh, yeah, that is not going to hit. That... Achilles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that is not, that, that is thankfully not going to hit anybody. But it does, con but it does contact the wall. <laughs> it does contact the wall of the building behind, behind it. <laughs> and yeah it, it doesn't do any damage to the building it just kind of splashes off splashes off but all right so g give me a second i'm do i'm setting some things up here cuz <laughs> Accidentally hits a small Lamaxian child behind the wall. No, no, all the uh, innocents have been evacuated from there. Roma is just gonna kinda. Oop. Oh, no, sorry she about knows that. Hell's grenade. Roma is gonna kinda crack her neck on there, and knowing that we're trying not to kill people, um. She's just gonna kind of step step up to, next to uh, Helsid on there, Whoop. and is and is just gonna try and uh, whop him in the face a little bit here. Well, yeah, we at least want those people to come back to their homes. All right, so hits Helsid 25 versus uh, versus the kinetic AC and that will hit just barely hit uh, for 16 points of damage uh, to Helsid's stamina boy all right gooba Um, Gooba is gonna like five step up, like, oh hey, like, oh hey, Roma, how you doing? And. Just, you know, force damage from those gloves. <laughs> Activating the key capacitor. Wing! Alright. Flurry of, Flurry of Goober, first attack hit, second attack hits, third attack misses. <coughs> that was a set, that was even without the key, so here's the fourth one with the key. Alright. And act, actually, all it, since you activated the key capacitor first, all of those have the one... All of them have the one, one of uh, force and one... You know, the one of kinetic and one of force on there. So that last one did not hit, but the first two did. And that is going to be a total of 46 off of their stamina. Hey, Keely. Uh, the DPS of the party. Yes, hello. I really can't bull rush them in my regular state. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, well, I mean, you are right up close and personal with one. So I can bury some of my first stage? If you want to. I'm gonna do that. All right. All right. Yeah, and you and you're still in, you're still in your uh, you're still in your first first form. All right. What is saying with who has a lot of skills to be a skill monkey? Uh, that, yeah, that is, that is going to, uh, hit and kind of push him up against the wall there. Alright. Uh, the one that, the one that you're dealing with there, Asperza, uh, is, you know, pretty, pretty, uh, up close and personal there. And let me see what I want them to do. I'm doing my best not to destroy any houses. All right. So you did this on purpose, didn't you? What I think I'd like him to do, actually, is I'm going to have him spend some key points here. And I'm having him spend some key points to use after image. You can simply transfer your transfer your location to any spot within close range, uh, which for a char for this particular character is 50 feet. Um, you can make a will save will save to uh, disbelieve this. So roll me a will save. And if you roll a will save, I will give you an attack of opportunity. Nope. <clears throat> and no. Wait, wait, wait. Guns are blazing. Uh, Carrick, uh, you're not in you're not in direct range of him, so um, range. E even even if you get a will save, you're not gonna get an attack against him. And none of you made it. Amazingly, none of you made the will save to disbelieve the fact that this guy was just able to... Was just able to... Zip right past here. Was able to zip right past. So is there more of him, or just he just disappeared elsewhere? Alright. Um, what the mystic's gonna do now? Yeah. Alright. If you somehow... Yeah. I forget what I All right. Um, yeah, the uh, power creates a temporary visual illusion. Meaning that according to you, according to you guys, he's still right there. More focused on his brother. Um, he ain't going nowhere, little man. But uh, he is also going to uh, sp spend a resolve point to kind of, kind of, the image in front of you kind of looks like he's getting ready to stretch his arms out. No, no. Is he going to slap the droid? Uh... Well, actually, actually, that after image was his stand was his standard action, so he's not gonna be able to attack immediately. But hey. as, but as far as you as far as all of you are aware, he is still standing right there. Pomatia is going to uh, step back here. And is going to kind of, and is going to kind of 
Look into, uh... Look into my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it, it's, going, it. it's going to, uh, throw a force blast. It's going to throw a force blast at... Well, give me, give me a second here, because I, I gotta... I, I gotta draw the sh I gotta draw the shape here. They're gonna hit me and Ke Kelly, or me, Rabe, Roma, and Carrick. So he's gonna destroy. Houses. Oh, he's hitting you and me. Uh, yeah, it's it's a thirty foot cone in front, in front. So. Okay, so if he doesn't care about houses, we we don't have to care about houses. The Maxian architectures. I, I, I'm gonna st I'm gonna start the angle from right here so that it'll it'll get Hikili and Goober, and then stop it right here so that it can possibly contact Roma and Rabe. But Carrick, you are out of the line line of fire. So give me reflex saves. Yes, the man in heavy mech you know what? is safe. Assist. I'm going to burn an additional key point to do what... to do the silver eye dodge. <laughs> yeah! Well... <laughs> oh, was it reflex? Dang it. Alright, so... Uh, because, uh... Yeah, well, because of evasion, uh, Goober... You won't you because of evasion you don't take any. Alright. Um Rob and Roma did not make it. Sakili did not make it. So you guys are going to take the full you three are gonna take the full ten. So. And I just I just real I just realized that the um Yeah, I just I just realized that uh for whatever reason Robbie Robbie's token did not have the uh proper stats on it, but no, it, it just didn't have the right stats on it, is all. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Goober was able to dodge dodge it, but Robbie and Roma were not uh, able to dodge. Alright. Additionally, the force... Okay. Alright. Uh, kinetic AC plus eight. So, Robbie. So, all right. Uh, what's your kinetic AC plus eight? Ba your combat maneuvers, actually. What's your combat maneuvers, Hakili? Oh, mine is twenty-six. All right. Okay. So it look it looks like nobody here, nobody here, was pushed back by the uh, mine by the force blast. So that's good to know. Rabe. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean. Let's see <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean she's she's right there. They're all on the line. Aren't we also in a line? <laughs> so she's going to expend herself uh some key points here.
She's, she's not going to go full blast on this. But she is going to fire off at Pomatia and Helsid. Galaxy! Breaker! Eh. All right, so Hel Helsid and Pomatia get to make reflex saves. Uh, Helsid, right? Helsid uh, actually does have the improved evasion uh, on there, so he does not take anything. Uh, Pomatia. Yeah! Woo! Poma Pomatia takes the full brunt of the Galaxy Breaker. Helsid is able to kind of bop out of the way, but uh, Pomatia is going to take all 17 points of damage. Uh, if not for the fact Goober's in dodge mode. <laughs> Alright. And uh, Helsid here um, is is actually going to step up to Roma because after that, he pretty much perceives her as being the biggest threat around here. So. He's going to uh, burn some, he's going to burn some key points here. And do a nice flurry of blows. Two of which managed to miss Ra Rabe for absolute certain. Uh, the other one just, just manages to catch. He is not... I think he's essentially done the one cardinal sin of doing something to Rabe. Don't do it in front of Goober or Roma. <laughs> and rolling around to the top, it's Carrick again. Moving over there, trying to catch Pomatia and Helsid in line. Yep. Done, Brayden. Okay. So, yeah. Helsid and Pomatia both, they do get hit by that, so... They are hit with a little bit with a little bit of stun damage to that, so uh, yeah, Palmation in particular seems to take taken the worst of it, so And that's my turn. Alright. Roma, yeah, uh, like you said earlier, you don't fuck with sis. So prepare to die. I mean, she is still going to try to hold back on here, but at the same time, she's. I mean, you fuck with your fa you fuck with her family. She's not gonna take too kindly to you, to her. So, um, what she's going to do? 
is... Yeah, she is going to... <laughs> spend three power points to power up here. And then spend a few more to do a nice flurry of blows to Helsid. No. Yes. And yes. Woo. So. Helsid. Oh, and two two of those two of those are going to get a little uh, an extra di die of damage from the uh, key strike on there. So. So we got 36 points of damage going going over to Hellsid. So give me a moment. There we go. Taking that out of the stamina. She kind of misses with the first one because she's still really angry. But then the second one catches solidly. And then she just comes back with a backhand right across, across his stupid green face. Goober! Someone broke the cardinal sins of Goober. And he's gonna pay for it. Goober. You! Don't you hurt my Robbie! Don't lay your hands on my Robbie! Hi! And actually, and yes, Golden Aura is out. Fuck this guy, he has fucked up. You still got that wall up there, but. You've got definitely got like golden aura eyes, people's missing right now. And Shites. while you're in while you're in that state, you're just like amazingly locked on, so you just gut punch gut punch and pause Shoryuken So forty four Plus 19, 54, 6, plus damage. 63, 63. So that, that, not, that, um, okay, so 63 minus 27. So Odd. 43 uh, so 43 points 40 no 63 minus 27 my 63 minus 20 is 43 minus 7 from that would be 36 I think Attacks. <laughs> and with that last attack, not only do you kind of up, upper uppercut him, but you kind of manage to come down through and chop right through oh. one of his arms. I'm pretty sure they grow back. And at and at that point. With his free arm, he's just like hold, holding himself, going, "That's it, I yield." Elsid is Elsid is Helsid is yielding the fight, fight here, and is basically waiting to see if you if you let if you relent. Um, <laughs> I think it's just like there's that guttural growl of run. <laughs> right, Hikili. I am going to fly up <coughs> and use Hell's Own Grenade. Uh, in... Hell's Own Grenade. On, on, um, which one? Anybody who comes near me. So, so you're just kind of holding, holding your action right now until somebody tries to move o over to you? Yes. 
Ugh. Alright. Okay. Well. Uh, Alright. This after image fades. And Aspera steps forward. As soon as he starts moving, you just turn to lock on to him. And just start firing key blasts at him. Around him. He's a little confused, confused at first as to why you're missing. And... Ah, fuck. He's able to get out of the way before you are able to bring them all into each other. Um... He's, he's staying back, though, because he's still... Because with his rather limb ember uh, arms on there... Oh. As Aspera is going to... Uh, use, a, use a few points there to whip your behind. Uh, it's 20, 22 versus kinetic and 27 versus kinetic. I know this. Or is this against Achille? I, I, this is a, against Achille. Because my KAC is 18. Alright. So, yeah, the, uh, the first two there definitely hit. So that's going to be a total of 18 points of damage. Yeah. So, yeah, the, Asper, Aspers is still a part of the fight. Pomatia, um... Is JR saying something? Because I can't hear him. I don't know. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still here. Hang on a second. <coughs> I have no idea what happened there. I don't know what happened either. But anyway, um, anyway, continuing on, Pomatia, uh, sees how hurt, uh, Helsid is, and is going to, uh, is going to lob... Lava miss lobby uh gonna move so yeah move forward to here Sensobine. Sensobine. no he's he's gonna lay on hands here and do like opportunity he's still on the floor. uh Myst mystic cure does not provoke attack op of opportunity if you look at it, it's the last thing that's on there. Um, well, he honorably yielded, so I can't kick his ass, but I can sure as hell kick the healer's ass. Yeah. So that that is uh, that's going to uh, kind of help Helsid heal up a little bit. Rabe saw that Helsid is honorably yielded. Helsid is not a combatant right now. Um. So, she is, so, uh, it does not provoke an attack of opportunity for her to... Uh, She's gonna move around? To move around to right here and la and... I'm going to have her do a uh, sense motive check here on Pomatia. Okay. Rabe's looking at Pomatia and is going, and is just kind of putting her arms out like, 
I don't think we have to worry about this one anymore more either. Clearly they're more clearly they're more concerned with healing their buddy. So she declines to attack the healer. She declines to attack Pomatia. And Helsid has left the order. However, you do still have Asper Asperza over there, who apparently has not yet yielded the fight. So, Carrick? Okay, so... Who, who, which one of them is selling the fight? This guy. This one. Wait, my uh, jump jets and fly speed to go far and... Okay. How far above him are you right now? Me? Carrick. Uh, about, uh... Quite, quite a distance in the air. How far? Because keep in mind, fly speed is mostly lateral. You have to give me a good, uh, fairly big boost to my fly speed. Yeah. All right. Well, the reason why I was asking about that, I was wanting to know how high up above him you are. Because you did move into threatening, into threatening reach. His arms are stretchy right now. So he can try to pluck you out of the sky. How much does Carrick play? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot this. It's a natural four. And you managed to miss, and since you're flying overhead and he's currently got reach right now, uh, he is gonna he is gonna try to knock you out of the sky with one good sharp punch. And misses wildly. Actually moves his ha his arm into the position of the ray. Skittle! Ah, ah. You know what? I, I'm i going to give you 1d6 of fire damage for this. So roll me a d6. Okay, so he takes five points of fire damage because as he's trying trying to reach up, your jump jets just pass over his arm and he's burned. <coughs> Roma, seeing that Halcid and Pomatia have both uh, given up the fight, as uh, according to uh, Rabe. Is going is going to move around to take aim at a Spurza. Not with the Hell Zone grenade, though. Garlic gun. <laughs> Can she teach me the garlic gun? All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, she she is going to fire at the line here. Uh, I'm I'm going to say, Carrick, that you're far enough up out of it that she's not going to hit you. She's trying to focus the beam just straight across and over. You got this, baby. All right, and a spurs. Uh, I was going to roll a reflex save. 23. Yeah, he's only he's only taking half of that. So nine nine points of energy. It's kind of weird that uh, engineers don't have very good will saves. Eh. Like they have good fort and reflex saves, but their will saves is weak. Goober, you are kind of in 
a bit of a frenzied state right now, but your girl has just has un unequivocally told you that both Hellsid and Pomada are out of the fight. <sighs> he's gonna. I think he's just gonna turn around just to see the actual target. See another target that's currently fighting someone. He's gonna burn eight key points to make this a move action. After image, right behind him. Okay, so he is going to roll his well save. Nope, he still he still thinks you're right over here. He's it's going to literally regret it, as I am going to wrap my arms around him and just pile drive him into the floor. All right, so you'll be going. Ag I'll be going against his combat maneuvers here. Damn it, it's a 25. <laughs> I mean, you were you were able to punch him, but um I'm just going to go for the punch, screw it. Yeah, you were able to punch him, but not able to pile drive him. Did you hit the force damage? Uh, uh, well, the force damage is that additional d6. No, I see it. With some damage <laughs> straight to the spine. Ah! Oh. Okay. So yeah, he's all right. Okay. So with that, with that on there. He is also down and injured somewhat, and he is going to yield. So. Alright, come on, the fight's over. Alright, so let me get the appropriate music on here. Usa. Usa. So it's getting heavy there, buddy. Alright, so. They're they're all they're all there. Um, Helsid still has his uh, still has his arm missing, but uh, he just burns whatever is remaining of their uh, key points on there. In order in order to use um, this regeneration, so. Oh. Because he's Lamaxian, so whenever whenever he does that, um, yeah, um, yeah. What what that means basically is, yeah, he's well, he's back up, he's back up to full health on that, and back up to full health with that doesn't really restore his stamina but does bring him back up to full health and most importantly you know his, his arm has been mi missing and all of a sudden one just bah! punches out of the socket that's gotta be useful yeah well it still hurts like a bitch All right, so Pomatia goes. Okay, fair enough. You know, you you yielded. You yielded with honor. Once we said we were done, we're certain you're who you say you were. Because if you were those bastards that are supposed supposed to lay out there, you would have killed us without a second thought. All right, and and Robbie's going over, over and kind of lays your hand, her hand on your shoulder, and goes, "It's all right, honey. It's all right, honey. Battle's done." And just kind of gives you kind of like a, a cool down hug. Sun's getting awful heavy. All right. All right. So yeah, Pome Pome she goes. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that, but, you know, 
Our, our radio tower kind of got... Mm, kind of broke down at an inopportune time, and we're just... We, we're just... We have to be as careful as possible, really. So did everybody uh, leave? Yes, we were able to evac... We were at least able to evacuate the village on there, but... You know, we had to stay behind here because, well... You know... It's your job. Yep, exactly. Understandable. Well, with the way that you fought over here, I am highly certain <coughs> that you'll be all right carrying this. And he goes into the building. Uh, notes. Brings out. Somebody else read it back. It's a Triforce piece. <laughs> Brings out the se the seven star dra Dragon Ball. So you got the seven star ball. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So there you go. You have the seven star Dragon Ball now. Oh. So, um, yeah, he, he, they're, they're on there, and it's like, yeah, before you go here, we absolutely have to get back in touch with the main building to let them know, you know, that we're all safe and all that. Is there anything you could possibly do about our radio tower? And he points, yeah. o and he points over to the radio, radio tower, and, and you can just kind of see where one of the transformers on there just like popped all of a sudden yeah we have Carrick <sighs> I tell you it's those damn space squirrels they just hop up right there on the transformer commit seppuku and die I thought it was the space ducks oh no the space ducks know to stay away from the transformers it's them damn space squirrels that get get in the way my uh, character just cracks his neck and just says, Is there anything I can't do? A little bit of an ego on this one. You didn't throw the bike. Well, uh, let's see here. Carrick's our main mechanic. He created our ship from nothing, from scrap parts. Right. Adult. Well, you know what? Go ahead and give, give me a good solid engineering check. Check. Well, first things first. <laughs> Turns the radio tower into a spaceship. Yeah. Go ahead, give me a good, solid uh, engineering checker. Anything's a spaceship if you believe hard enough. And uh, Go and uh, Goober and Achilles, if you want to assist with uh, athletics checks to make sure that he's actually able to get up the radio tower properly, go ahead. So he wants us to help. Oh God! Hero Kelly. No athletics. Uh, just... Goober, Goober, you almost drop Carrick. Uh, but Achilles, like right there to catch him and help, and help give him a boost up the radio tower. Carrick, once you're at the radio do tower, it myself. I'll just do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a big bulky suit. You are able you, you are able to scale the tower with great aplomb. And with your engineering check, mo you're able to clear the space squirrel off of there safely. Um we just shoot it off. Just beam shot. <laughs> <gasps> Got it. And by the way, in, in, just, just so you know. This is partially based in something that has happened to me in real life. I have actually had a squirrel cause a transformer to pop. We know our squirrels don't do that. Yeah. They just, they just get into our bird figures and piss us off. And it was the most inconvenient too, because we were tr my bro big brother and I at the time were trying to bake a pizza. Don't you have 
And Wait, was it an the, electric oven? Yes. Oh no. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Trying to bake a pizza, all of a sudden you hear pop. You know, like a big old. Push. No, not even the wine there. Just pop, and everything just goes down instantly. Oh, we uh, get a wine if the thing goes off. We get a. But yeah. Yeah, it's probably like. But yeah, yeah, Car like the... Carrick, with that, you know, it, it is able, you were able to uh, fix that in more than enough time that uh, everybody down there is still kind of in mid-rest and healing up all of their uh, stamina points and whatnot um, af after the battle. Uber. Puddle. Cooper, look, gumbo. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you have a very well fried and actually quite exploded, um, quite a, quite exploded uh, squirrel on the ground, and the transformer is back in working order. Um, Bro. and the radio tower is now receiving again, and down, once you get back down to the bottom, Carrick, you can kind of hear from within the building, you can kind of hear, hello, hello, Pomatia, are you there? Hello, Pomatia, Pomatia, are you receiving? Inside. Goober's going to walk inside, just go like, care. this is Goober. Oh! Everything's fixed now. Oh! How are you? How are you? <laughs> oh! Hi, Goober. Thank, thank you for that. I'm glad to see things are working again. Yes. Oh, and, and I see that you met uh, Pomatia, Hellsed, and Aspera. Aspera, I'm glad to see that they're still in go good uh, health as well. And Hellsed just kind of rubs his shoulder where the arm popped out and is like, Well, that's relatively speaking. Hey, it grew back. Yeah, but it still hurts like a bitch. We said we were the good <laughs> guys, okay? You, you have nothing to blame but yourself. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> the space squirrel blew up <laughs> the radio tower. I fixed it. And Pro Ghost gets where I'm going with that voice. <laughs> and yeah. I fixed it. Yes. yes. All right. And, and count, well, counter on on the uh, comm system goes. Uh, Pomatia, have you already given them the seven star star ball? Because it can be safe with them. And Pomatia just nods and goes, "Yeah, we already gave them, gave them the seven star star ball there." Good. Good. Know. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yes. Now. <clears throat> while while we're here, I do also need to let you know that um, we have been getting some reports out from one of our most critical areas on the entire planet, the Tohinga Spaceport. Oh no! Eric, is our ship okay? Uh. Well, this is a different spaceport from the one that you landed at. Okay. The, all right. As a matter of fact, um, someone give me a culture roll here. Culture. All right. All right. Uh, and Goober... You're first confused to think, think that this is quite poss possibly the same one that you were at, but Carrick, you actually know because you had studied up on Tokinga previously that this, and you remember from when you were on Earth 7 that this is where the probes were, this spaceport that they're referring to is the one that the probes were launched from. Tell the rest on this. So, th th yeah, this is not like the main space hangars where people come come in in their ships 
This one is specifically for the exploration, the uh, unaligned systems exploration wing. Uh, 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 what is that? Directions, please give. I th also, is there a mention of a uh, describes Gooper's dad? We don't. We don't know. Their com. Their comms are still locked. Unfortunately, we lost contact with them. Only in this case, it's not because the radios went dead. No. Th their communications still just seem to be alive. It's just that no one's answering. It's motive. I. It's part of me doesn't feel like I can trust him. Why? Oh, it's weird. All right. I, I totally trust him. Never mind. Hmm. I'll do it for shits and giggles. Yeah, well... Ow, now. No one... I know you're peeking at the stream. No inside information. Hmm? I'm not. I'm on the roll 20. At <sighs> all, oh, I just left the moment the game started. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just give me a moment, cause I I am trying to make sure things are aligned up properly, where I can get to them properly. So, uh, Carrot, go ahead and give me a uh, sense. All right, sense motive check. Um, Hakili, you can tell that Countar is legitimately worried. <coughs> seen that look before that look of desperation yeah i mean he, he seems to be legitimately worried about the state of that spaceport and about the fact that there's been no answer all right should we be going there then guys and ladies all right Ro robbie and roma they kind of look at each other and back to you and they nod in unison I have a. Uh, all right, uh, we can. I can ask this question along the way. Let's just go. All right. So you're flying off to, to the uh, spaceport there. And what question was it that you were wanting to ask? I like ask, Rave Roma. Like, have you ever been afraid of that power? Cause, uh, yeah, I thought I was about to kill the, those poor people. Ro Robbie, Robbie. Well, Roma speaks up first, actually, and she's like, "Yeah, I don't think there's." If, if, well, I mean, you know how I got how I got this power in the first place. So, this power's always, always made me angry, and, and always felt dangerous just having it. Because, I mean. Technically, I was never supposed to have it in the first first place. My jackass brother made me get it. And and Rabe's like, well, I mean, of course it scares me. I mean, not not just because of you know the whole whole you know me being green side, but sometimes when you get into that state, there's just unyielding rage uh, especially that initial uh, especially that initial time it just seems like that level of rage just will not leave you alone uh. one would think you'd get better control over it over time well of course you well of course you do uh, answer answers Roma, but even so, this is a power based entirely off of emotion. When you're in that state, you really have to keep yourself in check because if you go too far, there's enough power in there to. Well, let's put it this way: if either one of us left loose, 
Odds are we would not be on the nice side of your bird friend, if you know what I mean. Is the bird friend? Dark the god of destruction. Hey! You have a picture with him? He would be very sad if he heard you say that. I mean... <laughs> no Cooper feels guilty, thanks. <laughs> Why is everybody pointing at me? Huh. Kara, get in this holy circle. <laughs> what? Alright. Four of us. Yeah. Well, as as that conversation reads its rather awkward crescendo, you manage to find your way in Tohinga Spaceport. Yeah, and uh, as you land, you can see that a lot of the buildings are actually quite damaged there. You can see uh, in the back around in here that there's this giant rocket uh, pointed straight up. Looks like it's, you know, it's getting ready to launch something. They are uh, doing the planet. All right. Um, but yeah, the buildings are damaged there, but you're not... At least at first, you don't seem to sense anything from any of the buildings. However... At least they're not all in that spaceship. What's going on? Give me perception checks. Oh god. I, I've I've made a couple of technomancers. They're really interesting to take a look at. All right, Carrick. Oh oh. Ooh. And I need to get perception checks from the girls here. That's a nice looking spaceship. Roma. And Robbie. Uh. Carrick, you you are the first one to pick up on this. And, and Goober, it takes you a little longer, but you are able to pick up on this once Carrick points you in the right direction. What's going on? What's happening? Are they all evacuating the planet? Oh no, oh. Oh no. Fuck! The, oh, there's two of them. The twin fangs are around. One. Two. But they're not alone. God, here comes the army of Cybermen, isn't it? What, what's going on? I'm now scared. <laughs> All right, and. The twin fangs up here, uh, all the twin fangs there. Yeah, they, they have noticed that there's somebody there, that there are some people there who were able to see them. So, they stop blat, you know, they're starting, they uh, come over to you. And Selder and Lantu Selder and Rantaloo are still there. Um, why don't you give me another uh, perception check? Three, two. Oh, Go yeah, Goober, Carrick, you're very, very uh, on the roll right on the roll right now. Hikili! 
is definitely uh, on his game on this. Uh, the girl, the girls are still more concerned more concerned with their boyfriends here. What the three of you see <clears throat> is that Seldar and Rantaloo have that same mark that you saw on the Cybermen. On the Cybermen Z. Oh, fuck. And, and Lantaroo, Lantaroo does not have it, though. But he is the first one to step forward. I saw you, Darth Bastard! Saw you, Darth Bastards! Finally caught up with us, DJ! What happened to them? What happened to them? Past the next step, steps forward and goes, Oh, nothing. Just show them a little bit of affection is all. After all, they've been doing such a... After all... They've been doing such a great job. And... Yeah, uh, Selder and Rantaloo are stepping up here. Hey! Hey, kid! It's good to see you again! <laughs> I was hoping- I was hoping you caught up with it! I can't wait to fight again! <laughs> And Lintaru's like, you know, I really, you know, you're not gonna shake my mind from this, ya dumb. You're not gonna shake my mind from this, laddies. We need that Dragon Balls, and that means we need the ones that you, that you bastards got as well. What Dragon Balls? <sighs> Don't be daft, laddies. If you're here, you're obviously going to be trying to keep the Dragon Balls from us, especially after after the discussion that Zelda and Rantalu tell, told us you had with us. And you know what? I don't give a fuck whether or not Mayonnaise actually said it. Because you realize what'll happen if the pla location of Planet Earth is actually found, don't you? Every doubt cunt in the galaxy will want a piece of that planet! You find Aoth! If everybody knows where Aoth is! There's gonna be war, laddies! The Saiyan Imperium, the Fragusian Empire, even the underlying systems are all gonna want that dumb planet! It's better we just fuck off with it all together! Destruction seems to like the planet quite a, while, quite a lot, quite a bit. I think you might have something about stopping a war take it I think the more he's essentially I think Goober is more more paying attention to these two than anything else I do need to let you know Goober the wall is still holding strong for now Goober cares about the wall. I think at this moment he is slowly reaching the point where he was fighting. Oh, yeah, uh, the mind co the mind control was tech based. Yes. And I got a good look at how it worked uh, from the Cyberman and stuff, right? Correct. Very important rule towards the twin fangs. Don't harm your family. Them. Given. By the way, I didn't just pick this song for the emotional moment. I also figured it fit best with a... <laughs> I also figured I figured it fit best with a spaceport. All right, all right. You are able you are able to dis to uh, create something that might be able to disrupt it. I will let you know 
that in order to be able it's to use done. it, you are going to need to get into touch range. I was gonna say it's probably gonna have horrible range. You are you are going to you are going to need to get into touch range in order to disable that. So tackle, right. disrupt, tackle, right. disrupt. And and Pastanak just kind of looks and goes Well, you're not going to change our mind. And clearly, we're not going to change yours, so Oh little boys, little green ones, come to mommy, won't you? Goober's gonna use intimidating aura. <laughs> Chris, all right. Don't I have that as a racial trait? Uh, that is as, as uh, a uh, class-based ability. The, the key ma the key master, yeah. Carrick is going is putting the disruptor the the disruption pulse into his power fist. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will. I will allow you to do that. All right. So for the. For the intimidating order, six sixteen. All right, so yeah, I'm going to roll will saves. I'm gonna assume super say. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna assume the fake super saiyan isn't adding into this. No. Can I somehow add to the effect of intimidate? I'm. I mean, you can. Uh... All, you, you can also. You can also attempt to intimidate. You can as, attempt to assist. The intimidation. What would be the assist thing? Just intimidate to assist. Okay. Well. Oh wow. Okay. Well. Z and Z Z and Z one. They're all, they're all kind of backing away. Z2 is holding strong. Just my kills. Z, Z, Z3 kind of backs, backs away. <laughs> Karak, you were just the cutest thing. Um... <laughs> Z four Z four stands strong. Ah, fuck. And Z five kind of looks almost like like he's not going like he's doing all right. But then Kakili glares at him, <laughs> and he's like, "Key, key." <laughs> And past the neck, just kind, of, just kind of, as as Z two and Z four come join join the fray. Past the neck's like, oh for the love of crap! It, ah, Zelda, take care of them. And Selder just fires off key blasts, pops. All of the non-fighting Cybermen Junior, no! just kind of clears them out of the way. So, pop, 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 and pop. It is now a six on five. It's now six on five. Neither one of you seem to be uh, backing down, so I think this would be a good time to transform. To roll initiative. Why don't, why don't I have any stats? Yeah. Hang on. I, I may have... I think I... Oh. I, dra I dragged you down, but I never did set up any of the... Uh... 
Broly Buster armor. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Broly Buster armor. Alright. Yeah. One in existence about now, so I think that armor is... Hey, there's only one... Hey, there's only one Hulk in existence. No, there's not. A DC and the, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, there you go. I was about to school you in a minute. Knowledge. Oh, yeah, now now y'all will have your HP and SP set up on this. By the way, one of my favorite songs from Smash Brothers. This melee. Uh, no, um, th this is from, uh, Smash 4, actually. It was just gonna be eye contact with his father and just, like... This is the closest I can get to, uh, actually playing any Blind Guardian. Because I just love this remix so much. So who owns that ship? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm not monetizing this shit anyway. So. So who owns the ship? Um, that that's just that's just a Namekian ship, is what it is. Are, are they all dead? I mean, there's there's no one around. The only power levels that you can find are what we've got right here. So. Correct. Carrick. Oh shit, new, new, me and her are tied. Carrick, new ship. Yes! Oh wow. Okay, let's see. How do I deal with this? <laughs> I'm fighting against Bayonetta, who is tied with me in initiative. Totally go well. Oh, and I got. Two, give me a second, because I got two more initiatives to roll. God, my girls cannot roll today. Roma, Roma. <laughs> I mean, they're brother and I mean, they're at least after the fucking. All right. Brother and sister? Okay, let's okay, see. Okay, um, call a one or a two. A two. Congratulations, you get to go first. You broke the tie. Let's see. <laughs> who am I more pissed at? My father or the guy who, or the woman who's controlling my father? Up to you. Hmm. Honestly, I think Goober is more of a ra more in a rage state, so let's see. Yeah, let's go with the dad. Remember who these friends are. You're still standing in front of me. I think I'm gonna. Goober. Thirty-one. Okay. Uh, the you're not feel you're not really. You're, you're kind of conflicted about things right now, so the first one kind of messes. You come back across, though, with the right hand. The second one connects. But kind of throws you off balance just enough that the third one does not come through. Like, I, I think Goober's face is shadowed the whole entire time he's throwing these punches. Yeah. Yeah, you've got, like, the golden aura up there, and y your pupils are gone, but 
that wall's still holding firm. And you do manage to catch a good solid shot on Lent on uh, Lenteru though. Um, with, with that additional damage from the key capacitor. And he's like, Aye, that's me. Aye, that's me, bo boy. <laughs> Past an act. Um, you know what? She. You know what? Um, who will she go for? She's gonna back up a little bit here. And she's gonna take aim at. She's gonna pop a pi pop a pistol into her hand, kind of pop a button on the side really quick. I can just hear it go, Wee! like it's like it's winding itself up. Oh my! Oh. Carrick. Oh. That's a crit. <laughs> and that's gonna need a sensu beat. <laughs> a straight up fifty point, a straight up forty nine points of damage, and you are now taking a burn. You are now taking a burn of one each turn. Um, let, let me, uh, let me just pull up a search for my own, for my own records just to remind myself how that works. Um. Have sneak attack? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. As long as you have the condition at the start of your turn each round before you take any actions, you are going to take... You are going to take a point of fire damage. If you do not make the reflex save, I am going to roll another d6 for your next turn. And uh, I'm going and I'm going to mark you with a little red dot there as a reminder. Is that That 25 damage or just the 25? Um what well, you you took 49 total damage damage from the attack, and then when it comes around to your turn at the start of it, you will take one point of burning. And then before the end of your turn, you will need to make a reflex save, uh, which thankfully, thankfully is only going to be a DC of 11. If you make that, you are no longer burning. If you do not, if you do not make it, I will roll another d6. I make it if I roll. I I literally could not fail it if I rolled a zero. All right. I have a plus twelve. All right. Then I'll just roll that for one. Yeah. Alrighty. So, yeah. Um, that would be... The next turn is going to Rantaloo. Uh, Rantaloo, of course, is going to stay pretty well behind Lentaru because, I mean, you, you know what he can do. He's not a frontline <laughs> guy. I think Cooper is just going to give Lentaru the glare of, like, do not interfere in my fight. Rant Rantalu I mean he's just giving that big dopey grin on there. Fucking Henry. And he's just looking at Goober and his eyes snap open looking looking their usual purple there and he's like <laughs> We're gonna kill you And he's gonna reach out with his mind. Romeo will save. Eh? Goober, roll a will save. I'm gonna assume space, Super Space Warrior does not do anything to this, so yeah. Well, you're not in Super Space Warrior right now. Space Warrior. Oh, I'm all gonna right. get hurt. You failed. You failed. So, all of a sudden, in your mind, while you're in this re already rather confused and frenzied state. Just, it's just like, 
somebody uh, directly applied voltage to your mind. He broke the wall. Take 30 points of damage. Uh, 50, okay. And, oh, and don't worry about the wall. You will know when the wall breaks. Because I will tell you when the wall breaks. Imagine this is the equivalent of slamming me against the wall mentally. Yeah. Yeah, th this... Yeah, basically, inside your head, it's like you've been slammed up against the wall and, like, just a jolt of electricity has gone through your brain. Carrick. <coughs> Excuse me. Time to break people's mind control. Okay, well, the reflex save was supposed to go at the end end of your turn. You do still take oh. one point of damage because that happens first thing. I'll save that reflex save for the end of your turn, and you will you will no longer be burning. But go ahead and take the rest of your turn first. I thought you told me to just take it at some point during my turn. No, the the save goes at the end of the turn. The damage happens at the beginning. Yes, I guess I just misheard you. Then move action. I will actually miracle worker. All right. To up my AC and to up my both my ACs by two. All righty. I do not want to get hit much more. And then I will save, then I will prepare my standard action for if uh, any of the enemies move within five feet of me. Feet of me. All right. Okay, so you're holding your standard action until someone comes in close to you. Okay. Cyberman Z4 is going to stay back a little ways. But he's going to look at you, Hakili. And is going to uh, spend a resolve point to fire a head blast at you. 20 versus energy AC. As I recall, that hits. Uh, KAC or combat maneuvers? My KAC is 18. Energy. EAC. My EAC is 15. Okay, so yeah, that definitely hits. So, you are going to take a total of 15 points of damage straight on as the Cyberman leans its head down, opens up, and just fires keys straight at you. Smiles 15. Yeah, minus 15 points from your stamina. And it is your turn. Don't you do it. No, I'll, I'll do it. Do it there the you go. Spot. I got, I got it. I'm going to my second form. Yeah. All right. And by the way, I did a little sprite editing for you. So now you do have, I have a, second form. a representation for second form. Hey. Uh, it's not. It wasn't a very big edit that I did to uh, to the uh, sprite for this. I I just. For this one, I just made the sprites a little more pointy, is all. Yeah, it is. And then I just spent a resolve point. Alright. Is that all I can do? Uh, yeah, that, the transformation is going to be your turn, yeah. Alright. So, you have buffed up, gotten a bit taller, horns are a lot pointier. Roma. She's going to, oh, oh, oh. 
I need to be on the right layer here. Just gonna kind of pop over here. Take a look at Cyberman Z2 over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, she's gonna burn. Uh, well, transformed on the way over because of the uh, expediency. Uh, she is going to fire off a hell zone grenade at Z2 over here, which means Z2 needs to roll a reflex save. So proud. Uh, and she, uh, she doesn't catch all of that. Rabe, also powered up. Um, she's act actually going to try to help clear out the uh, the riff raff here. Riff raff, street raff. Um, actually, I'm going to have her move down just a little bit more here, so that way. She can catch Z2 and Z4 with a full, with like a, a hugely powered, she's going to burn a lot of key points for this. Oh god. Galaxy Breaker! And roll ref reflex saves here. Z2 Z2 catches all of that. And Z4 also catches all of that. So um they are both going and uh I need to roll some extra damage here for this. <laughs> oh wait, that's supposed to be 66. Well, she's done some extra damage to. Uh, she's uh, cranked it up a little way too. So. so she is a super warrior. All right, so 20, 28 to each. <coughs> da, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba. So yeah, it takes a nice big hit out of all of them. Cyberman Z2 is not very happy about that. And Rabe is going to have to roll a reflex save. Thank God. Rabe. DC 21. Rabe not only manages to dodge the hug, she kicks the Z2 up into the air. And it just goes. Boom! Whoops. Ah. I messed up. So let's get back. Yeah, I messed up. It's Lentaru's turn. Uh, Lentaru <laughs> is coming fa face 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 with you here. And yeah, face to face, face to face with his own son. Oh, let's see what I want to want to do here. That was the wrong thing. There we go. Um, what I'm going to have him do is... Oh boy, let's see what he's going to do. Roll me a reflex save, Goober. In, fa in fact, Carrick and Hikili also roll me reflex saves. Uh... <coughs> I mean, it can't be that high. Hopefully, I don't know where... Okay, um, yeah, okay, so, Carrick, 
And Carrick, Goober, Hikili, all of... You see Lantaru just, like, take his foot and just, like, stomp down hard on the ground. And there's this big thud, and the ground shakes a little bit, but you are all able to hold position. I'm sure Goober has seen this, him do this before, so he kind of planned this ahead. Selder, so you didn't break your knee, old man. Selder, he like he likes it. He likes it up close, so he's going to take a five foot step forward. Carrick, I believe you were going to do something. <laughs> Please uh, yep. cure my brother. Hey, stop, stop. Uh, so hard not to be an angry Saiyan right about now. Ah. Ew. Oof. Alright. <coughs> you miss you miss with the attack there. Zelda dodges. Nice try, but I'm the patty cake champion. He moved he moved past my threatened zone, so does that mean I get an attack of opportunity? You can, go ahead. I think in terms of a rage, I just essentially see that he's coming towards Carrick and I try to stop him. <laughs> nice try, but I'm the king. patty cake champion. Oh, my championship! Oh, my pride. Mock Goober my just... pride! I think Goober was just like... I think just hitting him just brings back an old memory of his childhood, which is slowly turning down the super... fake super space warrior. Uncle Saldar is pissed! Flurry of blows on Carrick. Two. <clears throat> I think only one of those is going to hit unless unless your armor gives you like some crazy. All all of, oh right, your armor gives you crazy AC. I forgot. Oh, tink 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 tink. Ah, my other pride. Gooba. It's like this. I think at this moment the super space, the fake super space warrior has ended. His father looks at his brother, looks at the equivalent of his brothers and just, like, sadness in this look of his before he just turns to his father and just decides to retaliate with his own flurry. Order, 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 order. Okay, 24. Fuck me. Yeah, um, you you are trying to punch out your dad, but no matter how angry you are at him, welcome back, Pro Ghost. No matter how angry you are at him, you're not quite angry enough. It's, it's mostly the memories of the childhood that's keeping him held back. I promise I'd be a good soldier. I promise I'd do everything to help you. Good Still soldiers. not good enough. Good soldiers follow orders. But they follow the right orders. My brother and I can't help my bet my father. <laughs> what good am I? Did I ever Let's scoobers go? Did I ever tell you Yeah da yeah daft laddie you're too soft for your own good. I quite agree. Says Pat Pasenak, as she draws her gun and aims it right at Goober. Uh, she's not boosting it up this time. Hey, that misses. <laughs> Consider that a warning. So I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Consider that a warning shot, whelp. Power, power glove. Tink. Rantalu. Um, let's see. Rantalu, what do I want him to do? With Carrick. <laughs> no. Uh, he's, yeah, he's straight in the line for Hikili. So what he's going to do here is... 
Don't be upset if I accidentally kill your brother. <laughs> if, he, if he has to die today, well, that's just how it goes. <laughs> this... Alright, I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Alright. He's gonna... Whoops. <coughs> yeah, I, I picked this for the boss fight for one particular reason. This is the best song from Smash 4, Fight Me. He's gonna draw a shock pistol. No. And fire directly at Hikili. Was that KAC? Um, th th this is electric damage, so it's against energy. It hits. Okay, so take take twelve points of damage because yeah, he's just taking careful aim. I'm going. <laughs> See, I can use a gun too. Not quite as good as Lady Pastinac, but I can use a gun too. <laughs> Garrick! Yes, identified! <laughs> Calculating. Weakness located. Locked on. Twenty... Let's see here if twenty hits Selder. It just does. It just hits. Yes! So what I'd like you to do now... Alright, is roll me a quick computer's check to act to activate the, uh, the, uh, impulse. Yeah, as you reach up, you kind of reach up to take contact, only you have your hand open because the, um, the, uh, little shot EMP to disable it is in the palm. So you just open hand strike him like that. And as soon as it hits, um, it does 17 points of damage. And there's just like a little spark on his cheek where that, where that lipstick mark was. It's like, huh? What? Where am I? Oh. Am I in the middle of a fight? Why am I fighting you guys again? Just like, I my, I, I think it's like Uber just motions to Lentaru, so you know who. It's the snack. Huh. Alright. Selder, not a very intelligent guy, um right now I I'm going to have him roll a will save right now he is confused AF Selder is confused AF you're on our side our side you remember Goober your brother alright uh, Z Z4 here You know, it's still kind of hurt, hurting from earlier. Um, saw what Robbie did when the other one tried to blow up, and it's not going to try to repeat, um, repeat the statement up here, but is going to try and wapa, wapa, wapa. Okay, so seventeen thirty points to Rabe. Birds to kill. Rising. Alright. Hakili. The last... I think Uber is looking at Achille. Uh, Just hit him really hard. He's an asshole. He can take it. If you say so. 
I'm gonna. Uh, can I do the uh, my special roll twenty thing? Realize me. Give me a crit twenty. Legit. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I got one of them uh, special. Things. Eat. All right. Well. Uh, it, it... Oh, the Hello. oh the critic okay. the critical blow thing. Yeah. Let let me take a look at that really quick. Because I wanted to springboard kick that motherfucker. All right. And I wanted you. Oh, oh no, that that's not a power. That was just that was just something that I added in as kind of notes about the critical blow, the super special training critical blow. That's not something that you have on there. Okay, never mind then. And even then, critical blow doesn't do that. Oh. All right then. I guess I do. What 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 it may what it basically just means is when you crit. When you roll a crit, as the Cyberman Z4 did earlier, uh, you don't have to roll a d20 again to confirm the hit. Alright. So. So, just roll acrobatics. Alright. Alright. Bounding, bounding off of your lengthened tail in your current form. And you're wanting to do a jump kick, jump kick to Rantaloo? Yes. Uh, this one. Yeah. So wanted to do a jump kick to Rantaloo. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, that is not going to hit. So you fly past him, and you are prone. <coughs> Uh, Ro Roma's up here, and she's just gonna step up to this Cyberman Z4 that just punched her sis, uh, that just punched and kicked at her sis, and just go, wa-ba, wa-ba, wa-ba. Okay, so 27 point points of damage to... And she misses the first one, but the second one just kind of catches it right in the face. And as it's going up into the air, she just tosses up a key bolt. And it goes poof. Rabe. At this point, she's used. Rabe has used enough power that, you know, at, at this point, Rabe has used enough power that she is powering down here. Oh, yeah. She she's used a lot of power. She's gonna she's going to uh, power down from Super Saiyan. Ba 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 ba. What's that gonna do? And you know she she's going to. Move forward up here. Kind of give Rantaloo kind of a quizzical look. Mm -hmm. And then just... Boom. Boom. Oh, no. Boom. Okay, so two of those missed pretty widely on there. But one of them does man does manage to catch Rantalu right in the face. She 
She's apparent. She's apparently uh, feeling a bit of exhaustion there. Sensibini. Sensibini, doesn't she? Alright. And get, give me a moment here because I accidentally knocked Rabe out of <coughs> out of turn order on this. So a re-roll for her? Yeah, I I, 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 ju I just put her back in the order. In about the same place. Lenteru just looks down at you and goes You you daft kid You daft lad You daft cunt what are you doing? I swear I swear that academy's made you soft laddie And he just goes to Smack 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 Floria blows so boo Boo! Boo! Minus six. Minus ten. Who's taking these hits and he's just like standing there? Yeah, so. Yeah, there's um, 34, 45 total points of damage. Six from. Oh, actually, wait. No, it'd be eight. What's my PAB now? It is... 6, so... 6 plus 2, plus my plus my early bonus from being a monk from the... 6, so... Okay, so just 3 more. Okay. Alright. Alright. Selder! is going to try and roll a will save and see if he knows exactly what's going on, because in case you hadn't noticed, his cheek is still sparking. And he is... Selder. And Selder is dazed. So, uh, Selder is still stunned, so he is not going to have an action this round. Goober. Uh, the Super Saiyan aura is still, like, it's whittling a bit. Taught me more than you ever did. Then that's my choice. Lots of friends. Honestly, ever talk shit about that academy again? I'll break your fucking face. <laughs> Wall still holding strong. But about it. you were you were able to get a good solid shot in your father's face there. Goober's just like looking up dead in the eyes. But talk about the Orange Star Academy like that again. It's my go. Oh, yeah. All right. So, coming around to Pastanak. Pastanak is going to kind of stay where she is. Hmm. And she's going to take careful aim and bop the side of her gun again so it goes woo to give it a little boost oh no goober who is she attacking for me so that's minus nine so yeah ow I told you that last one was a warning shot. You've been a bad bo boy, Goober, and bad boys deserve to be punished. Just enough, but listen to your fucking voice. And coming around to Rantalu's turn. Rantalu 
is surrounded here. And it's going to back up a ways. Going to step. Back opportunity. Uh, it's just a five foot step. Damn it. If there's anything, he's still going to get attacked of opportunity from you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a five foot step, so no attack of opportunity on that. Um, but he is still in melee range, and he's going to switch over to a tactical knife and try to take a slice at you. Nineteen versus kinetic. Yeah, nineteen. Uh, yeah, nineteen just versus just your KAC. Just missed. No, it just hits. Okay, uh, twelve points of damage. <laughs> I may not be much for melee combat, but I can't help but draw blood sometimes. <laughs> Carrick. Okay, so after uh, past the past the step. Past the knack. I keep on wanting to say past the snacks. Well, I mean, she is modeled after Bayonetta, so she is looking like a snack. Oh my. Anyway, after she... It's uh, Goober saying, hey, I told you that last one was... Uh, with a warning shot, all that stuff. Kirk will go, well, I can tell you one thing, and then moves over here, like... I'm just moving over here, like, slide, and, like, in a crouching position. You'll get no warnings from me before he activates his jump jet and punches and uppercuts her in the chin as he activates his jump jets going up. All right. Uh, give me an acrobatics check on that. That if you roll well enough, I'm going to give you an extra d6 of damage to this. Yeah, you will get an extra d6 of damage. Oh, you okay? All right. Yeah, so 20, 20, so 23, roll your extra d6. Come up uh, with me. All right. Yeah. You, you, do, man you do manage to uh, bring her up off of the ground with that. Give me a quick moment while I roll her a reflex save. Alright. Alright. Using the DC as the damage that she took. Um, she's going to come back down. She's going to come back down and go prone. Uh, one D and take 1d6 of falling damage because she fell more than 20 feet. Alright, roll me another d6. <laughs> Eric did not like getting critted. He did not like oh. getting critted whatsoever. As she as she lands, she just kind kind of scowls and goes. Why are you not trying to kill this one? It's, you're over there wasting time with your damn kid. Why aren't you trying to kill this one? Achille. In my shame, I stand back up like totally meant to do that. And... Prehensile tail. Yeah. You try. You try to swipe at. Swipe at him with the tail. Tail, and he's just able to kind of like move out of the way. <laughs> That's a neat trick! Roma! Just gonna move over here. And spy, uh, spy Rantalu over here. That was the wrong thing. She's going to uh, t she's going to uh, take a nice big shot at Rantalu. 
Gallant gun! Fire! And I have to roll Rantaloo's reflex save. A beam? Does it pierce stuff? Like, would it also hit uh, past the snacks? Um, this would go right past her. From, from the angle that she's at, it would go back past... Uh, <laughs> And Rantaloo is going to take all 13 of that. Robbie is going to step is going to step step up to Rantaloo. I keep accidentally bringing up the character sheet of the person I'm going to be attacking, not the person who is attacking. <laughs> I, I do that a lot. I don't blame you. And just pop Rantaloo once. Uh, Rantaloo... Gets hit for a good, for a good 22 points of damage. <coughs> Wait, isn't she wearing one of the Force Rings as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. So that's going to do an extra six on there. For this one. Lentaru he heard what Pastanak is saying, but he's fixated right now. He's saying it's between two men. <laughs> he's fixated right now. Lentaru is. It's essentially the father's son who's trying to prove who's better at this. Right. And what he's going to do first is he's going to use his... He's going to use a swift action. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I thought I, I thought I gave him. Uh, that's what I meant to do. All right. There we go. Key strike. All right. So. Yeah, he's using full. F yeah, he's using Wolf Fang Fist. No. Bop. Bop. But up. Well, uh, let's see. That is 12, 12. Okay, so. Yeah, so tw you had taken at least 24. That first die Four. did a 1. 12. I think both dice did a 1. <laughs> yeah, 20. Minus. Yeah, 20. Eight times 3. 24. Ah. So you're still taking 15 points. In, in terms of anime, it's that punch in the face and Goober is just like, like... His head is turned, but it is slowly turning back just to look him in the eye. Alright. Selder gets his gets his will save to see if he realizes what the fuck is going on. And he realize and he realizes what the fuck is going on. He finally is able to shake off. And he's going to just five foot step away from you, Goober. I'm gonna take a look over there at Pastanak. I don't know what you did to me, but you're about to pay for it! Get her! Get her! Get the bitch! Get the bitch! Ah! <coughs> <coughs> and he 
he fire, fires off... Fires off a beam there at Pastanak. Pastanak is going to get a reflex save of 18 versus Selder's uh, level 3 DC. And she actually, she actually does manage to make that. Um, I so she's pro. I thought that would have worked. <laughs> oh right, she doesn't. You know what? She's not going to get a reflex save from that. So she's going to take all all sixteen of that dead on, plus an additional two d six, because Selder's mad. Goober! I was just gonna look at his father and just say, like... But when things weren't built to kill... Decided to be killers... We're a family that just wanted to protect the weak... Those casted off on the Imperium... We did it all just to protect... To be a family... Deals! They took everything away! The wall is still holding. I don't care. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Alright, so that is... 47 plus 11, 58. Your first one you don't quite have the heart into. But the second but the second one comes back, hits him in the gut, and while he's double doubled over, you just kind of elbow strike him up in the face face. And his his nose is starting to get bloody. Goober was just gonna say like, you take innocent lives, and you're expecting me to walk away from all of that. Pastinac is going to get up. She looks over at Selder. And she just goes, So, you finally came back to your senses, did you? Lantaru, you see what he's done to your, to your beautiful lady Pastanak? I got a right mind mind to retaliate. <laughs> and she shoots oh. at Pastanak. Or she shoots at Selder. <laughs> yeah, super Pastanak. It blows through his aura. And you can see a hole go right through his ch through his chest. And he's kind of holding it. He's still up. He's still up, but he is hurting. So. You bitch. Rantaloo is still, still eagle-eyed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he, but he's gonna kind of shift away there. Actually, he's gonna shift back away five in this direction so that he's got a little bit of separation. Was that a ten foot step? Uh, that was five foot. It was just yeah. five foot diagonal. And what he's going to do... Oh. <laughs> is um yeah uh, da, 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 da. yeah I think this one looks good Psychokinetic strangulation. 
and he's going to try to strangle Rabe. So, I need Rabe. Oh. No, 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 no. All right. You manipulate the mystical energy around each round that you concentrate on this spell, which he can concentrate up to eight rounds. Um, he, he, uh, now, I'm, what I'm going to say is that that 17 points of damage will not take effect until Rabe's next turn. However, when her turn ends, she has to roll a fortitude... I don't want to negate it. To negate it. Uh, I, want, I need to care for something. No, I don't want to introduce her to a new, to a new kink. No! Carrick. A computer check to try, to try and... Uh... Uh, putting more charges of, some, of something into one blast of my gun to tie it to make the damage do multiple times. Like for every five charges I put into the to one shot, it does times two damage. Your check starting at DC ten. That's plus five for each times one. All right, you're wanting to do a computer's a computer's check to see basically if you can overcharge your weapon. Is that what you're trying to do? I got what I'm trying to do. Uh, fuck me. Um, tell you what, roll a computer's check and I'll see how much you are able to boost it by. It's probably not going to be, you know, quite that much. But depending on how much you roll, we'll see. Okay. That would be like a... That would be 15 charges. Alright. Alright. And damage. Yeah, oh, okay, so... Yeah, with that, you would, you would have to burn 15 extra charges to get... One extra dot to get two extra die of damage. So if so, if your gun goes like two d two d six, you would have to burn fifteen charges in order to get an additional an additional two d six. This is a once a day thing, though. I'm going to okay. limit this to a once a day shot. So it it's one two shot. extra. I'm correct. Yes. And first of all, so I so if I if I normally do one d six, I'm now doing three d six. Oh, I I think yeah. Carrick, I need you to move. The air. Aside from that, if you're going to use range, you might want to move anyway. I am thirty feet in the air. I am well away. I'm well away from all them. Okay. I scream that as I fire it down straight at past the step, past Max. Go ahead, fire. Give me the blitz! Omega Overdrive! Overdrive! She is able she is able to quickly roll out of the way. Ah, fuck. 
I have because I cannot roll more than shit in this in this this game. God damn it! Yeah. Hey, Keely. Oh no! Wait, she stood back up. Damn it! Can I roll acrobat to throw Roma into Rabe? Because she's gonna get caught in the blast radius. Action! Just tell you her mean move. you mean to throw throw Rabe back? Yes. Well, I mean, for for what it is, she's probably going to get. I'll tell you what. Go ahead and make your attack. If Robbie manages to make like a, a reflex save, save to it, she she's gonna get to move back. Can I burn a key point? Damn it! I forgot to say it. Okay. Uh, key uh, key ball. <coughs> Okay. Burn it right on top of him. Alright, yeah, so keep all on there. Um, let me just double check to remind to remind myself. Keep all. I wait. Okay, so yeah, there there are gonna be reflex saves involved here for half damage. Um Okay, so I'm gonna have to check your uh, your spell save DC here, since they are technically since they are basically spells. And key ball is a level three. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Lentaru does have improved evasion, so he's going to take none of that. Rantalu. Is going to take all of that. Rabe. Oh, fuck. That's why I wanted to, like, throw her to her. Well, love, we're just gonna end up getting killed because of this. You know, you know what? Go ahead and roll, roll an athletics check. Catch. Catch. <coughs> yeah, you are able to you are able to throw Rabe clear. Yeah. And Rabe nods in appreciation. And then the ball explodes. Lentaru is able to dance out of the way, but Rantelu uh, catches it full force on there and he's not looking all that hot. Oh, oh did, did it not reach the lady? Oh, you, oh! You sent it. You sent centered it on me. Uh, on so yeah, it would be a ten foot radius. Uh, let me roll a reflex save for Pastadak. Oh, hey. yeah, she she doesn't take much from that at all. In fact, she she managed to take half damage from that. So Roma. <laughs> is going to uh, come around here <laughs> all right and uh, she she's gonna try to get Rantalu punch Rantalu over to uh, Carrick because she saw what Carrick did earlier to Selder. So she misses. She's not able to shove him over. <coughs> Rabe <coughs> is uh. what she's going to do this turn here is she's going to burn resolve points No points. No. Oh. Oh no. She's and she's fight with me to uh, power up 
power herself back up into Super Saiyan form and regain her power points. Can I, you try, right. can, I can I spend half my uh, resolve points to try that to try what I just did again? I said earlier that it was going to be a once a day thing. I'm holding to that. Selder is just going to. not doing anything. So, oh, right. Um, yeah. Let, let... I know I don't want to get beaten up, but I'm perfectly fine with this. <laughs> yeah, Lentaru. Ah, I think. Come on, roll twenty. I'm, I'm trying to go to my attacks here. Give me a moment. Punch me. Is going. Okay. Um. I, yeah, I'm just. I'm. I'm just gonna go that one solid punch there because that's all he needs. One punch. That is. 40 total damage on there. 40 minus my 8. So, yeah, let's let's just subtract the, the stamina. So, 32 there. 32 minus... Yeah, okay, never mind. We're starting to chip away at health now, aren't we? Oh, wait, fuck, that was wrong. Do I see any of them carrying the Dragon Balls? Not at the moment, no. And e e and in this kind of a melee, I'm going to say it's too chaotic to see anything quite of that level of detail right now. We left ours at the bridge. The right? of, it's not really detail; it's they're, they're the size of my head. Yeah. Well. I mean, you're mostly focusing on just trying to stay alive and do damage right now, is what I mean. So, uh, that's not something that you're going to necessarily be able to keep in mind in the space of six second blocks. So, set Lentaru just <laughs> smacks down at you and is like, If only your mother could see you now. Be a lot more prouder than me than she is of you. Zelda rushes up and is gonna try to is gonna try to uh take, take a night take a nice big key strike to pass the knack. But he's apparent he is apparently still shaking things off because he missed. Goober. <sighs> Flurry of Goober is just like that guy who inspired his, who inspired everyone with his words. Who would literally cry every time he loses someone. Who always felt joy when he was fighting with his son. Were you reborn again? Did he die? Oh. Okay, so oh. for. Oh. Okay, so, uh, oh forty. Yeah. Okay, so that first one, forty-three point, forty-three points of damage. I'm just gonna <laughs> minus twenty. What do you know, kids? <laughs> Uh, let, let me see. A, 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 C. And that last one missed. I think Goober is just going to look at him like... Like the memories of his father... Of the, what used to be his dad is just like hanging in the air as you're looking at him. 
He used to be someone I'd always look up to. Someone I'd always wanted to protect when I was when I got older. Pastanak is quietly shifting back. She takes aim with her blaster. She pops it once to supercharge it. You're going for... And she shoots... At Lentaru. I'm not rolling That's the so damage. Because... This is an automatic crit. She shoots Lentaru right through the chest, and down he goes. And we are suspending initiative. Goober. Your brother just died. Lent, your father just got shot right in front of you. But before you do anything, Pastanak holds her gun level, looking at Lentru and is like, Always so focused on your family. Even while you and I were together. Even while you and I were sharing a bed together. You always thought about them. You disgust me. You're weaker than I thought you were. Even now, you and this pathetic band falter. I hate you all. I hate you. I hate him. And she points the gun over at Selder. I hate that little runt bastard. Points the gun towards Rantalu. I hate you. Points the gun at Goober. And I especially hate that bitch that birthed you. The wall has never felt thinner. You bastard! The ground shakes. His arrow is his his aura is flaring bright yellow. Robin and Roma are looking on concerned. You took him away from me. You took away everything from me. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. And with an explosion of golden energy, the legend is reborn in Goober. And that is where we are laying off for tonight. Oh. Oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Saiyan Goober, baby! Super Saiyan Baku, uh, actually. Does he have exploding sweat? <laughs> and that, uh, like I said, is a perfect place for us to leave off for a couple of weeks. Give me a moment while I pop everything down here into that particular point. Because the legend has awakened. And we'll see what happens in a couple of weeks. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the follows. I am ever closer to my goal of getting to dress up like one of my favorite Sailor Scouts and, and play a game that I've never gotten to play before, but I've heard a lot about. Thank you. Time Lord, Omni, and Geek Jacob for being my players here this week. Hopefully we'll see each other in another couple of weeks, barring any catastrophes. Yes. And my next stream will be Saturday uh, when I will be uh, 
I will be firing up a little Fortune Street. So uh, you've seen the links on there. Follow me on social media. Donate to me if you haven't. And uh, also a special thanks once again to the loading crew for the Keymaster rules from which we have uh, derived things. Until next time, thank you all and good night.